Here we are in Mazuzu, Malawi. And we're at our still off grid homestead here. And we got some new guinea hens, which we've never had before. And um, we're, <laughs> we're try trying to keep them under control and it's not working out so good. We got two adults and six small ones, I think. And we're putting a tether on the, the adults' legs to keep them from flying away. And so far, we're not doing such a great job keeping control of them. And looks like the rooster is, uh, the rooster thinks the guinea are one of his hens too. <laughs> I don't know how that's going to work, but I guess we'll see. Here's some of the babies. They're not really babies, but they're like half grown. Yeah, my wife's got the other one over there, the other adult, trying to figure out what to do with it. I need somebody to help me suck and tie it there. What, you need me to hold it? Mm -hmm. And it's, it, it, it can run away from you. Got it? Yeah. Nice looking birds. They're delicious too, that's why we got them. Why not just put them in the chicken house, honey? We want them to, to run out first. They've been in the for a long time. I see. Yeah. Some pecking and whatever. Okay. So we have an enclosed chicken coop, but uh, these haven't been free range for a while, so we're going to let them outside for the rest of the day and then put them in the coop at night. So far, not working out too good. My grandson Sergio doesn't want to leave him alone either. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, <laughs> we'll give you the next installment on the saga tomorrow. We're going to put them in there overnight. Uh, we have a different place for the chickens, so um, I guess we'll see how it works out. That one seems to be calmed down now anyway. So, I'll give you the next installment tomorrow. Be sure to like and subscribe. Thank you for your time.